Hello, so back for another episode of Anderson's Adventures 42. So I have an obsession. I have an obsession with this wash we call Trail of Tears. <clears throat> I think it got its name from some locals some years ago. I think mostly they were writing down it. I don't know that anyone was writing it up it, but possibly. That was kind of well before hard enduro was a thing. We'll see some old timers that are friends of mine told me, oh, that's a trail of tears. So the trail is ever changing. The, the wash is ever changing with each rainstorm. Two years ago, I could ride up it although it was a struggle, but I could ride up it unassisted. And there's video of that on my channel. In fact, I created a playlist just for this trail. In fact, all my videos, if I have multiple videos for the day, I number them one through whatever, and then I'll make a playlist. And that's the best way to watch them because I don't do any editing. I don't do any uh, you know, pre-thinking of the ride, it's just raw video, what you see is what you get, and, um, so, the, well, on the playlist, the video will, when it ends, it'll instantly go to the next. My camera runs for almost 18 minutes, and then it turns itself on and turns it back on right away. I mean, you're almost like in the same spot where it turned off, so they connect up real nicely that way, so. If you go to my channel, check my playlist, or watch them individually, but sometimes you have to hunt for video two after you did one, video three, four, and so on. So I'm going to head down there and show you where the entrance is. Hopefully Carnegie regulars will recognize the area and um, try to give you an idea how to find it and where it's at. And I'll try to do some better explaining. My last video, I let the frustration get to me and I was turning the video camera off when I got to a hard section. And then once I, I got myself through it, I would turn it back on. I'm not gonna, today, today I'm just gonna let it run. Let it roll. And you're gonna see all my struggles and frustrations. Hopefully I'll, I'll, I won't get frustrated. I won't let it frustrate me. And um, we'll see how far we get. The goal, is, well, since the 2023 storm, the big storm we had, that, that New Year's Eve, and uh, the trail, I have not been able to ride up it unassisted. Prior to that, I could, although it wasn't pretty, it was hard. So my goal is to get up this thing unassisted. There's one last obstacle, and that might be it at the top there. Once you're over that, you're home free. And I got to that a couple weeks ago and I just couldn't get over it and I I was exhausted and I gave up and came home to to fight another day, you know. Um, I wanted to work out and this gives you a good workout, It'll get your, your heart rate up, your, it's good cardio. Um, the first part is a lot of rocks like this and I noticed that if I approach it slow, like first gear and stuff, it bangs me around and I end up sometimes hitting the bank and so last time I just clicked into second and gassed it and charged through it and I'm going to try that again as far as I can until I get to the first uh, step up because you'll see how what an angle that is to begin with um, it's quite steep but then you run into these mini waterfalls and so you're already on an angle like this and you're trying to launch up a step which is so hard for me to do you know if I had if it was from a flat approach it would be easier right but all right enough talking let's cruise down there we'll take a a nice easy way so I'm well rested when I get there let's go
Okay, you might recognize this pond. Carnegie Locals. Uh, so, that's the entrance right there. It's easy to miss that. And uh, just getting up that, man, it, it, if you don't, if you screw up there, you, you can really mess up your day. So, it starts off with that little climb up into the wash. Um, anyway, this is my obsession. See how far I can get. Get a drink. Now we had pretty good couple of good little storms since I've been up at last, so it it most likely will have changed. Uh, the last video I did charging up it in this first part, and then there was this huge boulder that wasn't there before, right in the middle of the wash in the preferred line and I was like where did that come from and I looked back looking back in some of my older videos um, and I think I see where it fell from the side of the bank possibly but it's hard to tell I think I saw where it fell from but anyhow Usually I'm pretty knackered after playing in here and this is all I came to do today and that's probably all I'll be able to do today. I plan on coming back out tomorrow, tomorrow's Saturday. Um, it's going to be a, a birthday ride for one of the goat trail riders, Mike Jones, and uh, I'm going to come out and film that birthday ride. Add to my birthday ride collection. All right, let's do this. Almost blew it right off the bat. Yeah. Gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be easy. I mean, look at how steep it is. Poison oak starting to bloom already. That's all poison oak right there. All right, here we go. I can't even get going. Oh, much deeper. I'm already at one of the first obstacles. Already. What? That's not helping. I might have picked the wrong day to do this. I'm falling back down. See, this is where I would turn it off. That was a bonehead move. I'm on an incline, and then I gotta do a step, and it's super slippery. It might be too wet to do this today. I might have to bail already. I was hoping I could run it along there. Super soft. And water's running down it. Huh. 
Yeah, this ain't gonna work. It's spinning right there. It's back down. Can't reach the ground. There's no way. Well, how did I even get up this the other couple weeks ago? So yet again, it's gotten worse with every storm. Man, I, I rode right up this the other week. I think I did if I didn't turn it off and figure it out, but somehow I got up this. It is straight up right here. There's no way there's water running down it. Just, it's gonna loop out on me. Do I try anyway? Do I just keep trying? impossible for me I'm gonna say uh, it's impossible for me um, this ain't gonna happen you know what yeah this is not gonna happen today is it look at that definitely gotta take my goggles off they're fogging up You know, but, uh, I think this has got to the point where it just isn't. Unless you're a Cody Webb or Graham Jarvis or Billy Bolt. Um, I don't know that any local is going to make it up this. I know. Swiss Mike I think last time we helped each other up this did we yeah we kind of went up this way and uh, it's uh, much steeper than it was then the water running down right here I don't know that I'll get any traction to get up that, and I have less than five pounds in my back tire for this. Look at that mess I made down there trying to get up that. But to be honest, I'm surprised I got here as quick as I did. I used to struggle even more. Well, is it possible? Do I just call this a workout ride and for sure? And well, it always is a workout ride. There's no footholds. There's nowhere for me to get a foothold. Push it up. No. All right, well, I don't even know if I'm gonna put this on YouTube. It's ridiculous. You know what, I will. I'm gonna put this on YouTube. Today's another failed attempt. Didn't even get close to how far I got in my last video, which was about two, maybe three weeks ago. I rode unassisted. I got up it to the very last obstacle. 
and now this is turned into being an obstacle just as hard as that last one I couldn't make. How did I get up this last time? Okay, well, we'll call this a failure, and I put out the challenge. Uh, anybody come out here and climb this unassisted. I want to see that. I want to see your video. Come out here with some friends and help each other up it. I'd like to see that too. <laughs>